What's good? It's good. Talking about sports, talking about sports betting and investing today. So here I am talking to my friends that are trying to get rich, talking to my friends that are trying to make money about how they can make this work, how they can make this happen. And I got some like easy money stuff for you today. Um, so yeah, stay in tune to what I got to say. And uh, I'm going to bring you the knowledge with no delay. Going to talk about sports book money. Going to talk about betting on sports. And going to talk about investing on sports betting. Which obviously I see is the bigger return on investment. But we're going to see. It's all going to be something that I'm going to be paying attention to over time. Going to give you a preview of what I'm going to get into. I'm going to talk about the top sports betting sites. I'm going to talk about why now is the best time I've ever seen to start betting on sports or to start investing on sports betting sites. I'm going to talk about what sites I use and why. I'm going to talk about how to invest in sports betting. I'm going to look at my sports betting strategy. I'm going to look at my sports betting investment strategy. I'm going to show you some or at least one chart for the main sports betting site that I've invested in and uh, I'm going to go over that chart, tell you what I think about it at the end. So make sure you stay tuned. And uh, I also have a link for some uh, free bets. If you want to sign up through, through my link, you're going to get some extra uh, bonuses than what they have already, which is uh, more money than I've ever seen before that they're throwing at people right now. You already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because I'm coming through with new information steady and hit the like button. So yeah, getting into like quick uh, preview of my own history with sports betting and sports investing. I've never invested in uh, sports betting up until recently. Um, I used to play a lot of poker. That's really like, I never was into gambling, like, you know, blackjack, any of that kind of stuff. But I always loved poker. I just uh, haven't played it for a really long time. I'll play it once in a while, but I'm not trying to play it like I used to. But I learned a lot. And one of the main things I learned through that was bankroll management and that's a, a the key to my strategy with sports betting so basically bankroll management is pretty simple right like say you have a hundred dollars you only bet with like one to two percent of that based on like the strength of what you think is good so you know if you're kind of you know if you think it's a good good idea to make this bet you know maybe put one percent down but if you're like really certain put two percent down um basically the reason most people fail with sports bet is, you know, they'll put that, you know, their entire bankroll into like one bet or maybe like half their bankroll into one bet or even a quarter. And uh, that's how people go out real quick, unless you're like a real professional, but I'm not trying to like risk that anyway. Like, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to watch a game and like have to worry about how much money I'm going to lose. If I have like 1% of my bankroll in a game, I'm not stressed out about it. You know, they lose, it doesn't bother me. It's no big deal. But at the end of the day, you want to look at his volume. So that's another thing, you know, you're making one bet for your whole bankroll. That's everything tied up in one. But if you got $100 and you put out $101 bets over time, all you have to do is really win like 51% of the bets. And that's pretty much the same thing with poker. So yeah, moving on, make sure again, you check out this link so you can get these free bets. But uh, before I do, I want to say to you, make sure you hit the like button if you want. It's going to help more people get this information. Um, stay in tune to the station by subscribing. So, you know, we're going to be thriving together. I'm going to see everybody getting money. So, starting out with the uh, top sports betting sites right now. Um, the past few years, um, online gambling has started to become legal. It's only legal in 21 states right now. In the past, you could still bet on sports online, but it was not legal. Just like I found out with poker, you could bet online with poker, but one day the United States government decided, uh, we don't want people doing this, we're gonna shut everything down, the money's gone, just like that, you can't get access to it. They just took everyone's money, um, but they can't do that when it's legal, right? And uh, I'm very grateful for that. Even though it's legal in 21 states right now, only about 10 states so far have allowed online betting, but you can expect more soon. Uh, mainly because, you know, these major sporting organizations like NBA and NFL are starting to sponsor these sports betting sites because they understand it's good business for them because when people bet on sports, they're more likely to engage more, they're more likely to watch more sports, and that's good for them. So they're all working together, and at the end of the day, it's all money, you know. 
don't let them try to tell you that they're trying to protect you from like losing your money on this stuff because at the same time they're going to let you buy a lottery ticket right lottery tickets are the worst investment you could ever make but they have no problem advertising lottery tickets every day on the, on the television or whatever it is so anyway looking at the, the main size i'm breaking it down draft kings this was founded in 2012 in boston massachusetts michael jordan himself the basketball player number 23 he is an advisor to draft kings so i'm going to have a link below specifically for draft kings check that one out if you want to get on DraftKings. honestly i think DraftKings is the best but the next one is bet mgm they're owned by mgm grand i'm going to put a link for bet mgm and i mean those are the two right now that i use those are the best two in my opinion because those give you the best amount of bonuses those two are basically um competing against each other they're trying to basically like and the way they compete is uh by offering more bonuses like i can tell they're both trying to like offer kind of the same bonus but then one site will go and like give you a little bit better bonus and then the other side will see that and they'll try to give you a little bit better bonus somewhere else so for example like today um i just bet um they just gave me a bonus like bet 25 dollars to win 25 dollars on opening night of the nba if your team doesn't lose by more than 75 points so I can't ever remember an NBA team losing by more than 75 points. So that's basically free money. And I remember last week it was like if Derrick Henry, um, running back for the Titans, uh, rushes for more than one yard, double your bet up to $50. So that was like free $50. And that's in addition to all the other stuff they had. See, I'll put the link for BetMGM below too. Uh, FanDuel, this one's, you know, been around kind of as long. I don't see them as being as popular. I don't see them really trying to get into that competition with throwing as much free money out. So I'm just going to wait to see if they do. If they start, uh, if they rise up their uh, bonuses, then I'll be on there real quick. William Hill is another popular one. There's a lot of others too, but you know, at the end of the day, I don't want to have too many. Like I'm fine with the two I have right now. That takes up a, you know, a little bit of my time, but like I enjoy doing it. So if you don't, you don't enjoy doing it, then you know, just, just stay in tune when I talk about the, uh, the way you can invest in these, because I see this is a really good investment opportunity, something that's just getting started. So yeah, I told you, uh, what sites I use, um, you know, now is a really good time because of these, they're just competing with bonuses. Who knows if next year they're going to keep throwing out all this free money like that. I would say, get into it as soon as you can. Don't delay on this. Don't wait. Use the links below. So on to where the real money I think is going to be, right? Like you can make like, you know, if you're careful in, you know, you can squeak out a couple hundred bucks a year on um, sports betting, you know, if you're lucky, but still the odds are stacked against you. But uh, I think, I think I'm going to make a lot more money investing in sports betting than actually that I'll make in sports betting, but I don't know. So that's what I'm going to So yeah, I'm going to be keeping attention to the money, the initial amount that I put in for betting into the sports. And then I'm also paying attention to the amount that I put into investing into sports books. And right now I'm pretty sure that like five years from now, the amount of money I'll make off that investment is gonna just be way more than the amount of money I'll make off actually sports betting alone. But the only reason I'm sports betting is because I enjoy it. Like it's fun to me. So, um, getting into the uh, investment strategy, I want to talk about I'm only invested in DraftKings because this looks like the best bet to me. Um, you can also invest in MGM, but you can't invest in just the sports betting part of MGM. All right, so moving on to the chart analyzation section of this video on this station. I'm going to be looking at the chart for DraftKings, which has the ticker you can find by DKNG. And this is the company that I have invested in when I took a look at the entire market of companies to invest in for what I see as a new legal trend of online sports betting becoming much more popular over time. So... I'm going to show you what's on my mind when I look at this chart, when I look at the price 
and I'm going to start from a short-term perspective of the last five days. This price has gone down from about $55 to about $49. I would have to say it's a good chance that it's, you know, going to keep going down, as the trend would say, on the short term. About a month ago, this thing was about $52. So, you know, we're down about 3 or $4. Now I'm going to look at the long-term perspective, which is really, in this case, what I'm thinking. Because I'm not trying to uh, trade this thing. Um, I'm just trying to buy it when I feel like it's a good deal right now. Under a certain price range that I'll tell you about. And then uh, hold it for the long term. So... This thing is, uh, this company, DraftKings, has only been available uh, to invest in since um, basically the beginning of uh, 2020. When it came out, it was about uh, $10. So since the uh, beginning of the summer, it went, went from about $10 to $65 pretty quick. I would have to say, looking at this, that you know, it's kind of in the middle of the range that I see it between um, $65 and $35 that I see it staying in probably for like, you know, the short term, maybe a couple months um, before it breaks out of that range. But I'm really trying to buy it anywhere within the range of like $50 to $35 myself. I had bought some before and I stopped buying after it went up above 50 but now i see his drop below 50 again so i will continue to buy and hopefully i'll be very lucky if this does ever get down to about 35 and if it goes lower than that that would be even more awesome because i would just get it cheaper because i believe in the long run that uh this thing is going to go up to at least 100 so i'm not really trying to sell any of this until it's at at least 100 dollars. and that's my strategy for DraftKings. looking at this chart that's the end of the video Again, if you got some value off of what I had to tell you, go ahead and uh, hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe.